Hi, this is oh, Tiffany with The Pampered Chef, and I'm doing my first live broadcast at a salad in a jar party. So we're at Michelle's house, and I'm going to turn so you all can see what's going on. These lovely ladies are making their salad. So I'll come over here. we got cucumber station. Michelle's working on our cucumbers. We've got our peppers getting sliced and diced by the quick slice. We're cutting our tomatoes with um, the uh, closing cut here. And then we've got some other toppings. Cheese getting grated. Fresh cheese is always better. And then lastly, we have our lettuce getting put in. So we've got some more lettuce we probably can spin here in a second. Oh, yeah. Do you do your cheese and then chicken? Yeah. Or no, chicken, chicken and cheese. cheese. Well, oh, yeah. Like she yeah, chicken and cheese are towards the end. So that's protein why it's all lettuce. kind of like over there. Yeah, your proteins yeah, are at the end. Do we have any more lettuce? Yes. And so far, we've got three people who have joined us. My friend Kimmy, Melissa, and Paula are now watching us live. Oh, right. Say hi. Hey, hi. Hey, yeah. So, <laughs> these ladies are almost finished with their jars. You need more, don't you? And we also have two bean chicken chili simmering on the stove. So this is part of our soup and salad. We use the veggie spiralizer to do our zucchini. So that's why we have nice little um, strips of zucchini in there. Look at that one, lovely. So just open the bag. You can use those shears right there. This is such a fun party. These ladies are going to take their jars home and put them in the fridge. They'll last um, up to five days. Um, the mason jar keeps it all nice and airtight. Um, the dressing is on the bottom. So here's one up close. See, there's the dressing. <laughs> Oh, we got some stuff going on in there. So this is the closing cut. Bags. Have you used this one already? You want to show her how to use it? Oh, surely not. All right, so we're going to put our... How many tomatoes? Because it's going to cut it in two. We're going to cut them in half. You want more oh, than that? Oh, okay. Michelle, you want some tomatoes? Oh, yeah. No, I don't need tomatoes. Oh, okay, I do. Okay, that's good. Here, you want to do it? What do you do? All right, here we go. So put the knife down. Here. Right. Oh. And then you cu just cut it through. Keep cutting it. Keep going. There you go. Go all the way to the end. Yep. I go back and forth just like you're doing. You'll feel it kind of hit the end. It's just straight. It doesn't come all the way out. So just pick up your hand. Pick up this hand. And there they are. And there's your tomatoes. There you go. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? Right. Okay, just be careful. That's a sharp knife. That is like... And you do the chicken in it. The raw chicken. Yeah, we did our raw yes. chicken in there. We filleted our chicken Instead before we cooked beating, it. Instead of beating it. Instead of beating it. So you're not str Whoa, what this is the break. <laughs> Make sure we use our break. Here, do it again. I'll show you. Awesome. All right, so spin it again. Do you want to use a tag and put your name on That's it? That's the break. Because this thing goes like 13 miles an hour. Oh, there you funny. go. Okay, what else do I need to put in there? All right, so keep on moving around this way. You can do corn, beans, pep banana peppers. I'll do you got cheese and egg, and then the last thing you do is the lettuce. So look at this one. This one looks nice. Shove it in there. You can pack as much as you want in there. So over in the fridge, we've already got some lined up. These ladies have written their names on them and lined them up. So this is pretty awesome. So if you're interested in a salad in a jar party, you'll have to let me know. I would love to come to your house and help stock your fridge with these awesome uh, little recipes. And tonight's recipe was actually just kind of put in the jar whatever you want. So um, they were able to plus and minus their veggies. So one more to go in. And then as we finalize doing all of our toppings, the ladies will again help themselves to soup and the toppings and we'll wrap up our show. Thanks for uh, joining us at Michelle's show at our first live Paper Chef broadcast performance studio.